In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 2 from experience 3. A sample size, 10, is drawn from a population. The data is shown below. We want to find the range of the data set. Using a spreadsheet, we can type the data in, one number in each cell, And then we can find the range, typing equals, and then R. That's right, we don't. Um, all right, we'll find uh, the range by finding the maximum number and then subtracting the minimum number. Um, and so there's a pretty easy way to do that. We can uh, sort the data to do that. So let's grab the data and then go to sort and sort it smallest to largest. And then the range would be the largest number minus the smallest number. So there's the range of the data set. You can think of that as if you put dots on a number line corresponding to the data points, that would be the full width of the data set. All right, we're going to do the standard deviation. Remember, it's a sample, so we'll use the sample standard deviation. And Excel has some functions for this. The older versions um, use these bottom two, and we'll stick with that. Uh, this default STDEV will find the sample standard deviation. If you need the population standard deviation, which is a little less common, you would add a P on there. But we'll do STDEV, open the parentheses, select the data, close parentheses, hit enter. Right, uh, two more decimal places than the original value would be 13.645. So we have one decimal place in the original data set, so we have three. We have two more. All right, let's take a look at using the graphing calculator. Hit Stat and Enter to edit the data set. Go up to the top and hit clear to clear the existing data set. And then type the numbers in by one. Alright, we have the numbers in there. And we can hit stat go to calc and do one variable statistics again that is listed in L1 so hit calculate and the capital S with an X that's your sample standard deviation right there the one with the little Sigma the Greek letter S that's your population standard deviation so it finds both we want the sample one that's the bigger number you can see that agrees Actually, if we rounded this, it would be 646, right? Uh, so doing a round, the normal convention, 6455, five. we'll go to 646. And uh, it again does not find the range directly, but it does find the min and the max, and you could do a simple subtraction there. So we would do 120.7 minus 82.8. the range again.